was happening a billion hours ago in human society? What about a million hours ago? Tingles with fiber Daily ASMR videos Hello so good to see you. And I am super excited about our topic that we have today. I heard the other day, all oh, I've read online at some point, about the difference between a million and a billion. I was talking about in terms of money. And it was actually our first figure here. So I thought that you and I could take some time and to just explore the magnitude of how big a billion really is. Because I think a lot of you know, for a lot of us, it can be that the word billion is so close to the word million, and it just seems, oh yeah, million, billion. But there's actually a fundamental difference in sense of scale between million and billion. So, just to first actually establish our definition, because the word billion has had two definitions in the past. So, the present definition of billion is 10 to the ninth, which means 1 followed by 1. nine zeros, which is equivalent to one thousand millions. Now, it used to be in Britain and some other places that went with British numbering systems that a billion was considered a million million. It would be a much higher number, but it's now across the board considered a thousand million is a billion. So, if you read kind of old texts, you may have to figure out the context, but anything present day, a billion should be basically. Which, if you think about how big a million is, having a thousand of them is a lot. But it's even bigger than we really think. So, let's figure out just how big that is. So, one billion seconds. It's called a gigasecond is 31.7 years. It's just 114 days short of 32 years. So 32 years is a billion seconds. To compare, a million seconds is just 11.57 days. If we think of someone who has a million dollars. That's equivalent to, you know, just under two weeks. And it could take a long time to acquire that amount of money. But that pales in comparison to 32 years. It's a huge difference between those. 
So, about one billion minutes ago, the Roman Empire was flourishing and Christianity was emerging. It's roughly 1901 years. Whereas, a million minutes ago, it's roughly 694 days. So, a, million, a billion minutes ago, Romans, Christianity kind of emerging, emerging. A million minutes ago, Trump was still president. So, it's a huge difference. About a billion hours ago, this is when modern human beings and their ancestors were living in the Stone Age, the Middle Paleolithic. It's about a hundred and 14,000 years ago. Whereas a million hours ago takes us back to just 1905, and that's just a couple short years before the first Model T Ford was built. That's a huge difference. About a billion days ago, Australopithecus, an ape-like creature related to an ancestor of modern humans, roamed the African savannas. That's roughly 2.7 million years ago. A million days ago is about 2,700 years ago. This is around the time that Rome was founded. So, Australopithecus versus Rome for billion versus a million days. A billion months ago, dinosaurs walked the Earth during the late Cretaceous. About a billion years ago, also called Giganus, I don't know how to pronounce that, this is when the first multicellular eukaryotes appeared on Earth, which basically is the predecessor to all, all multicellular life, so trees, fungi, and then obviously animals, so insects, mammals, reptiles, all that. So that's a billion years ago. Whereas, just a million years ago, is where we have uh, found the oldest footprint of Europeans. Not just the oldest, the oldest human footprints older than that, but oldest footprint of Europeans about one million years ago. It comes from a million years ago. A billion decades ago. Galaxies began to appear in the universe, which was then 3.799 billion years old. Because a billion decades is 10 billion years. Whereas a million decades ago, rather than being in the very early part of the universe, this is when apes evolved. It takes approximately 95 years to count from 1 to 1 billion in a single sitting. Whereas it takes a month to count to 1 million. So, your first month of life compared to basically universe is thought to be about 13.8 billion years old. So that gets us through time. Now let's look at some distances. A billion inches is 15,783 miles. So, 
In that distance, you can reach any other point on the globe from that point. Whereas a million inches gets us about 15 miles away. Not very far. A billion meters, called a gigameter, is almost three times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. So you can go to the Earth, to the Moon, come back, and then get back to the Earth, be back to the Moon. And that is when you will have traveled a billion meters. Whereas a million meters is a thousand kilometers. The distance from New York to Indianapolis, which I think I've driven in a single day. I don't think I could uh, drive at, you know, 70, 80 miles an hour and get to the moon and back three times in a day. Anyway, a billion kilometers, called a terameter, is over six times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Whereas a million kilometers is called a gigameter, as we were talking about before, so it's that same distance from New York to Indianapolis, which is also close to, so 1.39 gigameters is the diameter. A billion square inches, if they are put all together into a cube, uh, sorry, into a square, would be a square about one half mile on a side. So this is square inches. Whereas a million square inches is 28 yards on so you can actually kind of visualize, you know, 28 yards if you take a, if you know, a football field, get out to 28 yards, imagine a square that size, whereas I have a hard time visualizing how big a half a mile actually even is, even though you can run it, but I just mean how big would a square that size be? A little hard for me to imagine. A piece of finely woven bedsheet cloth that contained a billion holes would measure about 500 square feet, or 46 square meters, large enough to cover a moderate-sized apartment. There are a billion cubic millimeters in a cubic meter, and there are a billion cubic meters in a cubic kilometer. A billion grains of table salt or granulated sugar would occupy a volume of about 2.5 cubic feet, which isn't actually that big, is it? A billion cubic inches would be a volume comparable to a large commercial building slightly larger than a typical supermarket. So if you think about maybe Walmart size, going into a Walmart would be a billion cubic inches. Whereas a million cubic inches is about one and a half is about the size of one and a half concrete mixer trucks. So if you had two of those parked inside, cut one in half, that would be your million cubic inches. For weight, any object that weighs one billion kilograms would weigh as much as an as 5,525 empty Boeing 747s. 
which is a lot that's hard to visualize. Another way to visualize that is that a billion kilograms And it is equivalent to more than one Golden Gate Bridge, which is 800 and 500,000 tons, whereas a billion kilograms is a million tons. A million kilograms, on the other hand, is about three quarters of the weight of a redwood tree, the really big ones. And if you take a million kilograms and three-fifths of a million kilograms, you'd get the weight of the Christ the Redeemer statue in Brazil. So, we have a comparison of Golden Gate Bridge to, you know, the Christ the Redeemer statue. So about one and a half of them, one and three fifths, but yeah. A cube of iron that weighs one billion pounds. to a couple products. As of July 2016, Apple has sold 1 billion iPhones. This makes the iPhone one of the most successful product lines in history, surpassing the PlayStation and the Rubik's Cube. And as of July 2016, Facebook had one point seven one billion users. So Stone Mountain in Georgia in the US has a mass of roughly a billion tons. don't have a comparison for the million. There are billions of worker ants in the largest ant colony in the world, which covers almost 4,000 miles of the Mediterranean coast. And it took until 1804 for the world population to reach one actually estimated that when Homo sapiens first evolved, the population was probably between 100,000 and 300,000. So it wouldn't have taken that long to get to a million. So, taken a long time to get to a billion. <laughs> long time. And that is how big 